Hi, David, they call me MacGyver. Today I'm going to show you how to repair uh, Christmas string lights. They're actually icicle lights, but this will work on any type of Christmas lights that you might have. Uh, if you happen to have a wire that breaks, uh, or if you have pesky little squirrels like I do that chew through the wires. Uh, so hang tight and we'll get started. Okay, so these are my icicle Christmas lights, and you can see the pesky little squirrels chewed the stupid light right off of the cord. Maybe they need a light in their nest, I don't know. But anyway, they chewed it off, so rather than throwing these away, these are LED um, light strings. He, they got two of them. It was laying up on top of my shed roof, so I had to reroute the wire so they wouldn't be laying up there. But I'm going to show you how to fix these, and first you're going to just strip the wire back a little bit on each end. Go ahead and slide yourself a piece of heat shrink over the wire before you solder it. And then uh, just put the wires, kind of push them together and then just twist um, both directions. One hand going one way and the other hand going the other way. So it kind of twists it together. Then you dip your tip in the brass uh, cleaner there and tin a little bit with uh, solder and put the solder on one side, put the heat on the other, and it'll soak right through the wire. And if you get a little bit of a drip on there, you can kind of clean it up with your tip so that it doesn't poke a hole in the heat shrink. So that one's done. After it's cool enough, you don't want to slide the heat shrink up over the wire until it's cool enough that you can touch it. So I'm gonna grab the other wire, the other string of uh, icicle lights here, and. Uh, twist those together. I've already stripped them back, already slid the um, heat shrink over the wire so that I can pull it back up over after I'm done and get these soldered together here. Just uh, sometimes it takes a little bit more I didn't get these twisted together good and they came apart so I'm just gonna and I've already got solder on there so it's hard to twist them so I'm just gonna solder them together there there we go okay and I use that spring just to kind of hold it in place for me and then I'll slide the heat shrink up over it and then I'm gonna get my heat gun and shrink that heat shrink over the top of the water wire and as you notice it's red I didn't have any white so I don't think it's a big deal. It's clear up underneath the edge of the house and it's dark at night anyway. And I just wanted to protect it from water getting in there and corroding my solder joint. But that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I get those, the heat shrink on there and then it shrinks up over it. So you, you want to get it just a little bit bigger than the wire. So when you go get your heat shrink, don't get something too big because it won't shrink small enough. But just a little bit bigger than what the wire, the wire you're putting it on. So I've checked it and it seems to be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug the lights in. They work and I'll test the other one and then we'll be done. That's it. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope that was some good information for you. And I'll leave some links in the description where you can get the solder iron and some of the other items I had there. So thank you again for watching. You have a great day.